poem because uh, unfortunately I'm not I'm not musical. Um, this is a poem that I wrote for for Vince's funeral and, and I re recited it at the, the wake at St Peter's Club in the evening. But I think I think by then most people have gone home or they were too drunk to remember. So hopefully I'll, I'll inflict it on you again and you won't you won't recognise it. Um, just a couple of days before Vin died, me and Barbara met Vin and Pat down at the pub in Dale House, as we often did, uh, for a chat. And I mean, obviously he wasn't that well, but he had his operation and he, and he, and he looked like he was, he was recovering steady away and, and, and you had a good night. And one of the things that night that he was saying, he was talking about the, the, uh, the christening that they just had of, of, of his grandson, Indigo. Uh, and, and he was saying how all, all his grandkids were gathered in the garden. Um, and, 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 and what a smashing do it was, and a uh, garden full of kids, he said, great, great. Um, we, we, people have already talked about Vin's sense of humour, legendary sense of humour, really. Uh, he, he could make humour out, out of the mundane and, 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 and the everyday, and, and that was a, a great gift. But the other thing was, of course, that, that, he, that he, he had great compassion, and, 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 he, and he, he shone a light on, on, on all... On, on, issues of injustice and hardship and difficulty and that, that and that was what made him special that's what made him unique wasn't it to be able to uh, on the one hand be incredibly amusing and funny and on the other hand to be very poignant and, and, and pithy in, in, in your in your uh, drawing attention to, to people's difficulties and that so I've tried to talk about that a little bit in the in the poem as well and I've talked about some of the issues that he covered by no means a comprehensive list because it's so so long and it, the things that he covered in his songs is, is amazing. And I never even touched on the amusing songs, the Hartlepool Monkey song or the Back of a Boat song. The Back of a Boat song, he always said, that'll be the one I'm remembered for. Somewhat, somewhat maybe disappointingly, but that's what he said, that, that's the one I'll be remembered for. Um, so that made him very special. The other thing was that uh, we used to go walking sometimes uh, in, in the country. And Vin's knowledge of the country was amazing. His, his knowledge of wildlife. Uh, so he'd be walking along, and you'd say, uh, he, he would say, "Oh, look at that! You know, it's a mare's tail or something." And, and you, you, you're going along, and you go, "Oh, listen to that! It's the mating call of a lesser spotted bog warbler." <laughs> uh, anyway, and, and, and me, I'm the country boy. I'm the farm boy, and, and my, my knowledge of that sort of thing is, is bugger all. It's really poor. Uh, so I was really uh, put to shame by him. Mentioned that as well. Um, the other thing is a little tribute to Pat because Pat was a great support of him, a vital, a vital support, and um, and so a little, a little tribute to Pat also there. Uh, she did the heavy lifting, metaphorically and literally sometimes. Um, yeah, so yeah, this this is my tribute to to a, a great man, a, a dear friend over thirty odd years. We've shared christenings and weddings and holidays and. Walks and drinks and you know, but you know, just a, a great loss of a, of a dear friend, uh, as it as it is to to everybody. Okay, so here goes. We gathered here to remember Vin. We never imagined we'd be losing him as we sat in the pub on Saturday night, and he told us his grandkids were such a delight. Now, as those kids go along life's way, your grandfather was Vin Garbett, some will say, and people from South Bank to far away Oz will tell them what a legend their granddad was. An evening with Vin had you aching with laughter, but then again, a short time after, songs about tragic social issues left many reaching for the tissues. He sang about topics far and wide, of unemployment, the north-south divide, songs about northern industrial decline, the song about life down the potash mine, the struggles of people in Latin America and a one-legged beggar in Tunisia. He sang of Bishop Romero's assassination and the trials and troubles of the Irish nation. An army deserter in the First World War, the genocide in East Timor, the gas attack in Iraq, the asylum seeker who can't go back. He sang of the rights of the child yet unborn, views which led some to react with scorn. Matters ecological, matters metaphysical, is Pat a leaving son looking quite quizzical? <laughs> A tub thumper he was certainly not, but he made us all think about the lot of those in hardship and in sadness. Underlying it all was compassion and kindness. Vin came from a background of heavy industry, but on occasions when we walked in the country, 
He knew the wild plants and the birds by name. He put this countryman truly to shame. People around here can look back with pride. He was a great ambassador for Teesside, but he couldn't have done it all without Pat. I'm sure he'd want us to be clear about that. So as he's looking down from above, I'm sure the thing that he'd really love is for live a good life to be his epitaph, but don't forget to have a good laugh. <laughs>